In this lesson, we will do something fairly insane, all right? So we are trying to turn this square into these two shapes. One is a triangle and the other is a circle, just like this. So what you're seeing is two separate, um, two separate identical squares one goes to the triangle and becomes a triangle. One goes to the circle and becomes circle. So we will try to push the possibility of shaping to the max. All right. So let's let's cancel, let's delete everything first and start from scratch. These are my guide image. All right. So open the folder of chapter one point five, and we will drop in first the texture, which I think I already have it. But you, you know how to do it. So drop in the texture and then drop in the guide image. Guide image here, press OK. Try to turn up the guide image to pro probably 50%. And then have your squares in. Put them in the rough parts. So click on rough and then edit texture. And click on the texture and let's Put in the dots. Let's start with four dots, and let's start for let's first start with the triangle. So let's give it a perimeter of angle x, two points. One's the beginning, the other is the end, and I want the polygons to be like this. Um, let's have a uh, the 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 same structure that we use in every single lesson. So let's start with something simple. Mm, probably like this. this and let's start with this amount of polygon and see how it go I think we need more I'm pretty sure we need more actually let's go on and move more because do more because I'm pretty sure that's not enough so let's multiply them by four this is fairly okay I would say this is probably okay and so we have our first square ready to get some action done. And let's first start it with moving this downwards to where the triangle is. Now let's try to enlarge it, holding down shift and left click at the corner to enlarge it, make it bigger than the triangle itself. Because it's easier if we have an oversized square and shrink it back into a triangle then you know some parts bigger some parts smaller that would you know, give it make it a hard try so let's do that and press ok I don't need press ok um, where am I okay let's first uh, lock the guide image so we don't accidentally click on the guide image when it, where, now, now that we locked it when we click on this square it has to be the square not anything else so we got the polygons. What do we do next? We sort of push everything inwards until it becomes the shape of a triangle. So I'm selecting in groups and I'm trying to push them inwards. Now I'm doing them individually. This practice helps you get a sense of what, well, literally what you're doing with every single polygon. Whether you feel like, how come moving this has no effect on anything? Or how, how come this has a little corner here? What's causing this? What's causing that? And through experience, you will get better at this. Which is to say, at the beginning, it's really hard. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't worry too much if, if I were you and having a lot of trouble doing this exercise because this is quite advanced in a sense. I am going to jump ahead of time and complete this triangle.
So now that we're almost done with the triangle, um, I'm going to put some fine touch on the side, on the edge. It's not going to be perfect because ultimately, like this kind, this amount of transformation is not natural. So um, for that, like to be standard. So rarely will you have a location where you need to really turn a one shape completely into another one. But just pushing things to the extreme is really a challenging task for you to train your skills. So once you got that done, you can test with the perimeter and see how it sort of forms from that into sort of a bell shape and squeeze it right into a triangle. So we got the first one. Now how do we put in the same square twice? It's very simple. You click somewhere else, you add a texture, click on it, and do that again. Let's first put it, put it in and then figure out what to do with it. Now it's in. Let's give the perimeter um, two two points. Now we got the second square and we can give the dots for a circle. I'm not sure what to go with this circle. I guess we can we can try with the universal one, but um, I guess some I got some idea I got some several ideas for this. I don't I just don't know which one is gonna be the best. But I'm going with this one. And then I'll do four and probably four again and that looks good so we got that we are at point two so let's move it to the destination oops there once again we want to enlarge it bigger than the shape that we need to turn into this time we will rely on the tool the soft uh, spray tool soft selection tool If, you're com if you haven't heard of this tool before, then probably you missed out something in my previous episodes. You might want to go back and check it out if you have trouble picking this up. There you go, we have finished both our triangle and circle. You can give it a test, and that is the end of this exercise.